2018, I committed to building three schools in three years with United World Schools in Cambodia and with the help of some of the most amazing people and a community around me, we built our first in 2018 and I want to take you on a short trip of the school we finished, our second one in 2019. For this trip, I'm taking my son and his best mate, Johnny. It will be an adventure. Day one in Phnom Penh. What are your thoughts so far, Johnny? It's pretty sick. <laughs> the environment's awesome. Beach? Loving the vibes. Loving the vibes. All right. Well, we're heading on Tuk Tuk's out to the killing fields. The Killing Fields certainly isn't an enjoyable trip. It certainly isn't something I looked forward to going back to, but I felt it was so important for both Bailey and John that we acknowledge what happened and we learn from it so it never happens again. It was certainly a sombre trip, and I know that both boys struggled at multiple times. So we're on the third day of our trip now, and we're heading due east from Phnom Penh, and I've got the team in the United World Schools bus behind us and followed up quickly by one of the youths. And we're heading to a city called Kim Seo, or it's a town, um, before we head into the village. So on that note, I'm gonna check in with everyone in the bus. All right, team, how are we doing in the bus today? Perfect. Good. What'd you get up to yesterday? <laughs> oh, um, went to the market, bought a lot of fake stuff, um, I ate lots of food. So mom, what did you, what have you liked best about Phnom Penh? Um, the paper. Oh. The people? Yeah. They just don't have a care in the world. They're always happy. Okay. Even though they may not have much. That's what I love about them. Thank you. Oh, that's cool. So we have Ness and Chantel. Chantel, what did you love most about Phnom Penh when we were there for a whole day? Weather. The weather? Weird, but I love it. And the people as well. I actually loved our tuk-tuk ride from the killing fields to the Russian markets. Really? And you went in the back streets of the village. But Phnom Penh was great. I actually was um, surprised how um, beautiful and clean a lot of it was. What about the Killing Fields? I know the you struggled field, there a bit. Yeah, it was um, too emotional, too emotional to, to, to see what the, this country does to its own people was um, very sad, actually. It, was, um, it actually emotionally wrecked me for, I reckon, two or three hours. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but otherwise, no, it's great. All I realised about this is to make sure that people um, you realise how good, how fortunate you are in life, and not to worry about anything else other than, you know, everyone be else happy. around. Yeah, be happy. Always be happy. Yes. I so like let's it. do this school. Let's do it. And let's uh, make a lot of people in this world very happy. Thumbs up. Yes. Hey boys. Hello. Tell Hi. me what you're up to today. Yeah. Well, right now we're going to breakfast, getting a good feed, and then we're going forward driving off to the school. To say that this school is remote is an understatement. We have hours and hours of hardcore four-wheel driving on day four to get out to the school. And this is one of the biggest challenges they have. To get materials to build schools to these remote areas is just nearly impossible. It literally depends on what's happening one day to the next with the weather. And we've arrived at the school and my excitement is at an all-time high. They've been constructing the school now for two months and we're here for the final week to get it absolutely locked away. It's come along so far from all the images and the videos that we've been getting sent during its construction. And it's now time to meet our team and get to work. Boys, this morning you arrived at the school. What were your first thoughts? Um, my first thoughts were it was a lot more finished than I was expecting and then it was great seeing all the kids smiling and waving when we got here. That was nice. So it was great seeing that they're all happy, watching them smile, kind of put a smile on my face as well. We're making the dress and we just have to sand all the corners, sides, top just so that you know, kids don't get any splinters. Is that harder work than you've ever done before, John? Um, yeah, so it's got to be up there. It's, yeah, it's pretty, pretty hard. hard. Yeah. Sweaty, sandy. Dirty. Yeah. Yeah. The tools we have to work with are so primitive. So we've bought over a pile of tools from a local bunning store and a pile of amazing paint equipment from Bristol Hunter region. And the kids are so keen to help us. They're actually sweeping out one of the semi-made rooms so that we can bring our stuff in and hang our hammocks. 
Part of our role here isn't just the construction of school, it's really to engage with the community on the importance of education and really engage with the kids about their new school and how cool it's going to be. And it's certainly one of the highlights for us all every year that we go. The kids took us to their old school, which was tiny and not even weatherproof. It would have only fitted about five to ten kids in it. And we had such an amazing time with them whilst they were there. Some of the kids and our team take full advantage of a United World Schools youth going back to the school because after working full days and then going on an adventure with the kids every afternoon, we are pretty spent. The AFL ball that Bradley brought over for the kids as well as the games that the boys taught the kids were so loved and literally played constantly while we were there. We're here building a school in Cambodia. What does it mean to you, the Johnson family and the Stalinist family? Building a school in Cambodia is a priceless moment that not only myself and Vanessa and Stalin can have for the kids. Yeah. The kids' faces this morning when they saw those kids yeah. is the most priceless thing that we're coming for. Yeah. And wait till the end because my heart melts to see yeah. my kids fall in love with that story. So, absolutely beautiful. So what does building a school mean to you and Stalinist? So what it means to us and Stalinist is that we get to um, give back to the community, show our children a selfless act by helping other children um, be able to, I don't know, achieve a great education so that not all people are going to live in poverty. So it's giving, giving back just that little bit and knowing that, you know, we may have all the luxuries back home, but there's a whole lot of people out here who don't have everything and it's just so nice to see their happiness. What do you think this is doing in regard to the gender divide over here? Oh my gosh, I love this. Um, gender equality and making sure that uh, equal amount of males and females coming into a school to get a good education, um, knowing that um, girls can get that education, knowing that they can have a career, sustain that and helping their own families and it's not just the male side. I think it's, I think it's awesome. Whilst I'm here, I bounce between emotions of exhaustion and fatigue and gratitude and I have a heavy heart one moment, I have a light heart the next. It's so amazing to be able to do what we get to do with the people that we get to do it with, but at the same time, it makes me realize that there's so much more that needs to be done. So ladies, if you could give me two words to describe how you felt when you arrived here today, what would it be? Probably shocked. I'm yeah. Shocked. Yeah, I was a bit shocked. Um, but really excited. What about you, Chantel? Hearts warm. Like, it was so cute seeing all the kids. And excited as well. A bit nervous. Yeah. Yeah. You came with us last year. I did. But when you came here today, what was your overwhelming feeling? Um, no, it was like coming home, really. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you do this? Ah, uh, little children. I'm a kid. We're getting so close to having this place finalised. We needed to make some brooms from the local foliage and get these girls mobilised and boys mobilised to clean up this site. <laughs> Building the schools is an amazing experience, but nothing can compare to the gift that we receive when we spend time with these amazing children. Thanks for tuning in. Make sure you're following me on Instagram to see my latest design and reno inspiration. You can find me at Naomi Findlay Official or click the link in my description. See you soon.